How's it going? To all the Sauros fans out there, um, I know we all want the blasters, we all want the lightsabers, you know, we want, we want the costumes. And they're expensive, I'll admit it. And I, I, I can't even afford, you know, just even, even replicas of replicas of replicas, okay? So my motto is, if I can afford it, I'll build it. Um, this isn't a tutorial exactly, I'm going to show you exactly what I've built. Um, one thing I've always wanted was pretty much hand solos blaster, pretty much a Blast Tech DL-22. Um, it's the gun that fired on Vader, and it's the gun that killed Greedo, and yes, hand shot first. Um, pretty much let me show you what I used to begin with, okay? Right here. See that? Full scale, single shot, air pellet gun. Uh, single pump. You have no idea how cheap I got that. Um, it pretty much what it is. It's a, it, it's a replica of a um, <laughs> it's just a replica pretty much. Uh, it's an airsoft gun and let me show you the finished product. And this is what I built. Give you a little short, closer look at that. That's what I built. Okay, the clip, it's right here. I cut it in half. Fits right back in. Um, this is a scope from a I had left over from a Japanese air rifle shotgun. Um, why I would have a scope on it, I have no idea. But it's on this now, and I modified it. Uh, pretty much the muzzle or the uh, barrel right here is it's a flashlight that I got it's an aluminum flashlight that I got from a 99 cent store I'm gonna buy another one and I'm gonna fucking make it go, get into that cone shape you know you know it'll take a little tricky now but I think I can do it um, right here pretty much the the gas vents uh, I went rummaging right through a junkyard and I found a compressor housing belt, uh, unit and I cut it apart, cut it, milled it, and I cut a slot so it just fits right over the old uh, clip uh, clip area. And that's it, you know, I slammed it all together. Gave it a paint job, a little JB weld here and there to smooth out some corners and whatnot. And it still fires. Pretty nifty, huh? Um, that thing that I've built, um, show you this one. Um, you know we all love the stormtroopers and we love their blasters pretty much. This is the this is the toy. Pretty much the one that comes in white, you know, that's really horrible and it's missing like a ton of parts. Um, I saw online that there is a company in the UK that sells uh, resin gluon kits that you can just put on there, but it's like thirty bucks and then you gotta import it. That's probably like another additional ten, fifteen bucks. You know, whatever they're going to rip you out for, but, you know. But, um, a little plastic styrene, a little imagination, a little uh, countless picture zoom-ins of, of, of this, pretty much this thing. And I've added the clip, as you can see. Uh, I've changed the barrel, the tip. I used to have this horrendous, ugly orange thing. Technically, now it's illegal. I can't walk out on the street because the clip is too realistic, pretty much. Although, I don't see anybody walking around with a World War II decommission... Uh, World War II machine guns, right? Anywho, British machine guns. Um, the full the stock barrel, pretty much, as you can see. I built completely from scratch. As you can see, everything's running down the sides. Right here. You can see, if you look at it, if you were to look at the pictures of the actual blaster, you do see that bar comes right here. So, a couple of screws and whatnot, add a couple of pieces. I added the, the box that goes up here. I changed the scope a little bit so you can actually see through it. Um, and I added this right here, which is now, if you, you either use it as a targeting scope, or you can actually use it as your laser, because I added a, I'm going to point it away from my camera, but you'll be able to see the light turn on. See it? It's a laser. Uh, laser pointer that I added to it. Um, so I can flash it on me.
Oh, there it is. See it? Right there. So at the same time, if I want it, when I shoot, I can squeeze the button that I attached right here. And literally, I have a laser in the dark. It's, or even in a room, you can still see it, which is pretty neat. Uh, plus styrene, uh, I, had a lot of, I have huge sheets of the stuff laying around. And I went and bought some uh, preformed ones. Uh, for this project, I got the gun on sale for 16 bucks or 13 um, The styrene that I bought the pieces and the glue, the adhesive, uh, total of 10 bucks. So uh, I saved myself a couple hundred bucks. I did, this one roughly came around like about 30 bucks, you know, a little over with the normal gun would cost like 19.99 or 24.99. But you know, but you for the extra pieces that are here worth it seriously you know i yeah it's not a cyberdyne gun and whatnot it's not an official gun it's not autographed but you know what i got one and people love it i mean seriously i got so many comments compliments from it you know and, and i'm not just taking the toy gun and painting it black no seriously i i modified that sucker i even put a, a heavy piece of pipe inside to give it more weight you know uh, another thing that i built and uh, this is because I saw it in the store also. I'm sure you guys have seen the Boa Fett blaster, right? All right, well, I wanted one. It looked a little cheesy. I mean, I took pictures of it on my cell phone and I said, you know what? It just seems a little small. So I kind of went and built this. You really can't see it, but uh, yeah. This is what I built. Um, the rifle that pretty much uh, got sliced in half by Luke Skywalker. It's uh, got a couple of mods on it. Got a searchlight on it if I wanted to use it at night, which is removable. You know, I know it wasn't there, but you know, um, uh, you have no idea. Uh, I spent nothing on this. Seriously. Um, my brother-in-law threw out a gaming gun that he didn't want anymore. I modified it, cut this cut. I have pictures I'll show, I'll probably post some other time. All the plastic I had left over the sheets, I built this stock from scratch. I have pictures to prove it. Um, when I insert it inside the grip, I still have a couple more things to add on to because I, I do need to add the rest of the hilt right here because I realized it wasn't right, so I cut it off, so I need to fix it. But uh, all in all, it's pretty much finished. Um, the vents here, this is actually from an air conditioning unit. Uh, you know, the little screen addition vents that you need to add for the windows. Uh, I built the scopes from scratch. Literally, it's it's uh, PVC, uh, no, it's uh, copper couplings. Then a little little JB weld that smoothed it out, created the cone shape, uh, stainless steel tubing. These are actually these knobs. <laughs> the Coke bottle, the Coke bottle knob. Seriously, I I, I will not shit you. Um, this right here is uh, it's like some kind of locking knob that I found, and inside, right here, it's like the cap to a Minute Maid orange juice single serve bottle that I inverted and glued down so you know I mean that's yeah the triggers work you know I'm gonna give it a little more paint up paint the brown and whatnot and I still have a couple more things to add to it you know but uh, yeah seriously um, put your mind to it you can build just about anything uh, people love this one because it's just huge and it's heavy and you know it just it just fits right you know you know, it's like you want to go bounty hunting for like Chewbacca and some, some shit, yeah. Um, another thing I'm building is, uh, you know, I've, you guys have seen the, uh, the pipe, the pipe lightsabers and whatnot. This is one of variant on it, you know. I was looking to find something like this. This isn't the blade, it's just a piece of mylar that I rolled together just to see if it, if the power source would actually work. And, uh, here it is. This is the power source. It's not gonna hum, you know, but it's gonna light up. It's uh, a flashlight that I liberated. Well, no, well, sprinkler head that I liberated. <laughs> Not from anyone's yard around here, though, but uh, 
a 99 cent flashlight, 9 LED, 3 AAA battery powered that I inserted, kind of modified to get it in there. It's pretty much in there snugly, didn't have to glue it down or anything. And pretty much, um, and pretty much as it's, uh, as I insert it in here, uh, you can tell it's going to look reminiscent to the new lightsabers, the bottoms. You know, it's got that weird shape thing, like the Darth Mauls and whatnot. Yeah. Well, anywho, uh, I've got another piece of it. I'm going to add to this. I don't have it on me, but once it's finished, you're going to see what it's, what it's going to look like. And when I power it on, see that? That right there is not photoshopping. And the blade's going to cost me like $15. It's like five foot, a, I think it's $5 a foot. Uh, I'm going to try, I'm going to experiment with a with a, a small piece of reflective mirror on the inside so it reflects it back so maybe it'll intensify it. I don't know, but um, there's a great... This is called the Plastic Store, the Plastic Shop in Burbank on San Fernando Road. It's I've been in there once and they, I almost shit my pants because they have everything that I want to build, whatever I need, you know, as far as plastics is concerned, you know. So just letting you know, um, you 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 put your time and energy and you know very little money, you can get pretty much just about anything. You can build anything you want, you know. Um, just to let you know that. Uh, the Han Solo gun cost me under $100 to build, under $75, under $50, under $45, <laughs> under $30. Total, it cost me under $25 to build the Han Solo gun. Swap meets, go. They got them. Seriously. You probably find any other gun there, probably build any other type of gun you ever wanted from any other movie as well. You know, just put your time and energy and, you know, just about anything is possible to build. Um, so that's it for the, for today. Um, if you have any questions or uh, just leave me some comments, you know, bottom of the screen. You know, you don't have to give me the thumbs up. You can give me the finger. I don't care. Uh, I'm a Star Wars fan. I'm here to, you know, help, you know, I, as best as I can. Um, I ain't rich. I never will be, but... Um, there are some things that I do want, and there are some things I do have already, so I'm glad. Uh, so, if you got any comments, leave them down below, and, you know, we'll swap ideas. Yeah, I am in Southern California, in Los Angeles area, so if you ever want to, like, you know, get together, build whatever, just go for it. <laughs> Alright, uh, peace out.